When the Demon Slayer game was announced, this was everyone's reaction. And then this was my reaction. I recently just watched the Trey movie and was blown away by how gorgeous and epic the animation was. Truly a masterpiece. Now Demon Slayer is getting two games. Firstly, the console game. Demon Slayer Hinokari Kaputan is a 3D arena fire like every other anime game to ever exist and is made by the developers CyberConnect2. CyberConnect2 are also the same guys that made Naruto Storm and Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So already, I am hyped as shit. And from the words of Mario himself, and I quote, get that Shut off my Switch! There will be no Switch versions. However, there will be a mobile game in which I uh, hope to summon for Muzan. But I just want to throw in my opinions and excitement in which I can hopefully get some of you hyped up to what could potentially be the next big anime game. I mean, just look at the gameplay! <laughs> <laughs> And it looks exactly like Storm. Now I know 3D anime games are notorious for being a piece of shit. However, looking at the gameplay for Demon Slayer, I think this will be a good one. I just hope they make the game fun and ridiculous. I want to do some stupid shit that's just broken but somehow balanced. I want to do Tanjiro's twirly shit with his war form and Zenitsu shoid with his lightning shit and just go crazy with Inosuke. I want to feel the power of these exciting, interesting, wonderful cast of characters and I want to be the number one Muzan player of all times. Now from what I know there is a single player story which does follow the first season of the anime and maybe even the train movie since Rengoku is playable. I love this guy. For this I hope it's like the Storm series with the quick time events with some sensational beautiful cutscenes like Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. But if it's a slideshow presentation I will shoot myself in the face. So don't mess this one up okay? Each character seems to have their own unique playstyles, such as having super armor for certain moves, inflicting poison and command grabs. I can also see flawless blocking, but if it's like that stupid guard break shit in Storm? But I am excited to see what else this game has to offer in the coming months. <laughs> I'm so excited! You see, the beauty of a 3D anime brawler is the fact that anyone can play it. It's just dumb fun using your favorite characters. However, there is a level of dumb fun a game like this can be. For example, if you look at this piece of shit game Jump Force, yes, playing this game with a friend can be fun, but it's also boring. Most of the fighting is just a cutscene. This is just dumb! You don't actually have full control compared to a game like My Heroes 1's Justice which has actual combos with each character playing completely different. The mistake My Hero 1's Justice did was making the characters who were strong in the anime completely broken compared to other characters in the game. End of all was DLC and was literally pay to win in the first game. Another example is Dragon Ball Fighters. Dragon Ball Fighters was a great game and then Ultra Instant Goku was released. Storm also did this to an extent with characters such as Momoshiki just covering up the f screen. Like, come on, I can't see shit. I can't, I can't, I can't see anything. There is no reason to use baby Choji when you can use Minato. So I hope Demon Slayer doesn't follow this trend by allowing some characters like Ren Goku to be much more broken than everyone else. Obviously, the Demon Slayer game is a Storm game at its core. You can clearly see it. But if it's just a copy of Storm with no innovation, then I will be very disappointed. Now for the mobile hey. game. Basically the Demon Slayer mobile game which is called Demon Slayer Blood Stench Blade Royale. It's not a battle royale, but it's an isometrical survival action game, which means absolutely nothing. The graphics look good. I'll do some summoning videos on it. And uh, yeah, Demon Storm 5 will be the big anime game when it gets released. It has it all! Amazing graphics, flashy gameplay, a rich, exciting, dark single player story mode with an incredible cast of characters. I mean, you got Tanji, you, you got Zenitsu, Inosuke, Nezuko, Giyu, Sakonji, Sabito, Makomo, Shinobu, Ren Goku, and probably even more. So much hype as in the anime Demon Slayer. So much quality content we are consuming from Demon Slayer. So much so that we are getting this amazing Demon Slayer game. And if Muzan doesn't make it into the roster, CC2 will have a word with my little friend. <laughs>